today I wanted to talk more about kinesiology in specific to joint actions. And then after we talk about the joint actions, I want you to tell you how you can use what you've just learned to prescribe into your workouts to make sure you give yourself a full body workout and work every muscle head to toe without overloading on any one area or neglecting any one area. This could be awesome. What you gotta know is you already know that movement can only occur at joints. You also know that it's the muscle that crosses the joint that causes the movement at the joint. That's the only way the body can move. Now, your body can move a whole bunch of different ways. It can do this, it can do this, it can do this, it can do this. All those different ways are, have different names and all those different names, of course, incorporate different muscles. So when you know all the different names for everything, you're gonna know all the different muscles and you're gonna know how to work yourself off the best so you can hit every single different way your body moves. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. First thing you gotta know is we're gonna start with flexion. Flexion, we're gonna go to geometry in high school. Flexion refers to an angle. Think about an angle. Flexion means you are decreasing the angle. Here's what I mean. Let's go ahead, take our arm on out. We're going to talk about our elbow joint. This is a 180 degree angle at the elbow joint, straight line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flex my elbow, and I'm going to take it to a 90 degree. So flexion decreased the angle from 180 degrees to 90 degrees. Oh, okay, now I get it. That starts to make sense. Conversely, you have also what's called extension. Extension is lengthening of a joint, lengthening the angle of a joint, or increasing the angle of a joint. So if we go from 90 degrees and we extend the elbow, we took it from 90 to 180. I like my little sound effects there. So think about decreasing the angle of the joint is flexion, increasing is extension. Now here's where we can make you sound so cool and so technical. The name. What joint is this? Elbow. Flex your elbow. Decrease the angle of the joint at your elbow. Elbow flexion. That's what it's called. Oh, it's so lazy. Now here, now you know medical terminology. Increase the angle of the joint at the elbow. Elbow extension. Genius. It's literally just the name of the joint and the action that it's doing, and that is the name of the joint action. Let's get it. I'll back up so you can see. Your hip joint. Straight down, 180 degrees. I want you to decrease the angle of the joint at the hip by performing flexion. We took it from 90 degrees. I want you to go ahead and lengthen the angle of the hip joint. So now we did hip extension. Let's talk about the knee. I want you to go ahead and decrease this 180 degree angle at my knee joint. By flexing the knee, I've performed knee flexion, decreasing the angle of the joint. Let's go ahead and increase the angle of the joint at the knee before I fall over. Extension, so it would be knee extension, the joint, and then the action that, prefer, that occurs at it. Knee extension, knee flexion. Okay, okay, we're starting to get it. We can flex, we can extend, we can flex, we can extend. There's more that we can do. We can also do what's called, you want to think about the middle of your body. So this is your midline. If we were to take something from right through the middle of you, that would be called of your midline. We can take things away from our midline. This is, it's a movement. We can take things away from our midline. When we take something away, I need you to think x files science fiction. You are abducting it. You are abducting it away from your midline. So you are performing abduction. What joint is moving? What joint is moving? The shoulder. So this would be called shoulder abduction. Shoulder abduction. Other side, shoulder abduction. We can also move that. So it would be called leg abduction, right? No, what joint? Not what body part, what joint? The hip joint. Hip abduction. Cool. Cool, you're starting to get it. We can also, so we can take things away. Can we add to it? Of course, you're doing it right now, of course. So when you add to your midline, this is the center of your body, when you add to your midline, what would that be called? Adduction. Let's not get overly technical here. Adding to it, adduction. So where are we moving from? The shoulder, what are we doing? Adduction, so what is this called? Shoulder 
Adduction. What would that look like with a leg? What's it called? Well, you're moving from, no, you're moving from the hip, think joint. So hip, adduction, hip, adduction. Cool, it's starting to make sense. You can also do what's called circumduction. Circumduction is 360 degree movement around a joint. What would that look like? 360 degrees, full circle, around the joint. Pretty much, your shoulder joint's probably the only one that can do that. If you can do that at your elbow, whew, I gotta see it, because that you're a medical marvel there. Or, or either you need to get to the hospital and get that fixed, because you should not be able to do that. We can also do what's called rotation. Rotation. What, what would it look like if you were to rotate? So rotation is taking a joint and rotating it at an axis. What joint is moving right here? Your spinal cord, your spine, your spine. So this would be spinal rotation, because that's what it's called. Conversely, we can take our hips, and I can rotate them externally and internally. So this is rotation as well. Where am I moving from? The hips. So this is hip rotation. So if I was to say flexion, show me flexion, you can go ahead and err, and you can flex everything. If I was to say show me abduction, you can go and you can abduct everything. If I say adduction, you can pull everything towards your midline. If I say extension, you can take everything and extend all the angles of your joint. Then I can get specific and tell you, I want you to flex just your elbow joint. You think, okay, 180 degrees, you need to take it to 90. There we go, I got it, I'm a pro. I can say, go ahead and take your shoulder joint and abduct it. Okay, I need to take it away from my midline. There you go. So that is literally all the basic ways your body can move. There's a lot more things you can do, don't worry about it. We'll get into that in depth later. Now, how can you take this for your workout? Well, since those are all the ways that your body typically moves, to really get a full body workout then, you gotta push against resistance all those different ways. Oh, that makes sense. So what that means is that you need to do something where something's pushing against you and you're resisting it as you do shoulder abduction. Conversely, you need to be pulling against something or pushing against something as you bring it towards you to do shoulder abduction. Same with the legs. You need to be able to push against something as you do the hip flexion, pull against something as you do that extension. You need to be able to push against something as you do the abduction and push against something as you do the adduction. What this is going to allow you to do is if you think, okay, I need to do adduction of my legs, so I need to start here and I need to find something to push against. Okay, I can go into a gym and find something like that. Now I need to do adduction on my hips, so I need to find something that I can start and take my hips and take them away from my midline. Okay, I can find a machine that can do that. And then you can go ahead and find all these different machines, all these different workouts that will go ahead and do all these different things, decreasing, increasing angles of all the joints of your body. And when you move all the joints in your body and all the different ways that you work against resistance, you're going to get your goals. That's awesome. Then what it's going to do is you're going to learn that, okay, let's decrease the angle of the joint at the hips and the knee. Cool. Let's increase. Cool. All right, so we're doing some squats. Let's come here. Let's decrease the angle of the joint at the hips and the knees. Cool. Let's increase the angle of the joints. Cool. We're doing lunges. Let's go ahead and come to a plie. Let's decrease the angle of the joints at the hips and the knees. Cool. Let's increase. Cool. Now we're doing plie squats. All three of those exercises, though, as far as what your body's concerned, what were they? Flexion and extension of the hip and knee joint. As far as your body concerns, all three of those exercises are the exact same thing. Therefore, why would you really need to do all three? You don't. Just pick one, and then you can move on to the other ones. I hope that helps you. I hope you can take that and bring that with you into your workouts. If you have questions, it does take some time to settle in. Rewatch it. Hit me up with questions. Thank you.